morning everyone welcome to our channel today we are going to discuss how to assess your credentials from ECA or WES ECA stands for credential educational assessment that's educational credential assessment uh, what do I mean by this when you're applying for any immigration or uh, stuff like for example in this case if you are trying to go to Canada then your degree that you received from your home country is not valid actually and in order to make it valid you need to assess it by one of the organizations specified by cic.gc.ca website so if you look here this is a website I will be adding this in the description so that you can take a look at it later so assessment of most foreign education you must use an organization on our list if an organization isn't on this list we will not accept assessment from them so either this or this or one of these categories should be included so in this example the most common is WES world education services so in order to apply for that you need to go to this link I will be adding this into this description as well all of the things that I'm explaining today I will be adding the link in the description later whenever you are free go to that particular link and you can do it by yourself by referring to my video so when you go to this WES website you need to look into these three steps this is the these these are the steps you need to follow step one submit your application and receive your WES reference number I'll explain you how to do that so when you say apply now it will ask you to which country you are applying for you select the country and you start filling your form once you submit the application it will give you a reference number you need that is very important keep that reference number that is what this step is all about apply send the application and get the reference number the number two is read our document requirements and send it send in your documents remember to include your WES reference number as we discussed in the step one so now the document requirements are nothing but your credentials your degree for example if you have completed your diploma or bachelor's or master's you need to send your transcripts and also your degree letter if you don't have then you need to have a provisional letter so this is what is the document requirement and the third step is we verify your credentials create your report and deliver it to your recipients this step is done by them and you will be providing the location where you need to receive so you just have to provide a destination address location where they can send the reports so that's what they are talking about so first submit the application get the reference number in this process in this step you will be providing in the in this step they will be they will be providing you the uh, address where you need to dispatch your credentials and you will be getting your reference number in the step two the address that they gave you to dispatch that's that's where you need to dispatch your documents from step two I would recommend you to dispatch the documents through your university by doing that you are increasing your processing time uh, in short in, has you're, you're decreasing your processing time has less as as it could be but if you do it by yourself there is possibility that the processing time may increase usually the processing time takes around two months but if you do it through a legitimate way then there is a chance that they may assess your report much sooner in my case I received it within 30 days in the step 3 the destination address that you provided you will be receiving your reports within 30 days or before like within two two months so let's see what how the application looks like when you say apply now it will ask you where will you use your evaluation I'll say Canada if you're going to US then US if I'm doing it for Canada so I'll say Canada 
then these are the two organizations who is going to do it so IRCC is specifically for Canada since we selected country as Canada and you are doing it for immigration select this one if you are doing it for some other purpose then select this one since we are doing it for immigration so select this person fill the application the application is very simple your name your credentials will be asked here and say create account once you do that it will ask you to pay the fees you pay your amount through any of the credit card and you, they will give you the reference ID and that's that's the step one so in this process they will also ask you to give the destination address where you want to get your document as I explained so this is everything you need to know in order to apply for WES or World Education Services and this is pretty much uh, I hope I saved your precious amount of money uh, you don't need to go to any kind of a consultant this is uh, it and you don't need anything else apart from this if you have any questions please write it down in the comment section I will try to answer them as soon as possible and if you like the content uh, please do care to subscribe if you don't like it don't subscribe it and I'll be coming up with more videos if you have any suggestions or if you if you need any information on any topic just keep it in the comment sections and I'll do it for you thank you very much subscribe now and press the bell